A screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and the solution. You all really want to listen to this. AC3 Show. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's doing good today. If you're celebrating something, a birthday, anniversary, you know what I'm going to say. I want you to celebrate that thing and make sure you celebrate yourself today. A screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and the solution. Let me start it like this. Know that you have everything that it takes to be great, to do great things, to achieve great things. But if along the way, along life's course, you have suffered some things that have screwed up your head, screwed up your emotions, um, made you not trust, um, you have rejection issues, you have things going on in your mind, in your spirit. If that mentality resides in you, you with that mentality will not be able to fix yourself with that mentality because a screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and the solution. I see people all the time talking about, you know, I'm getting with somebody, you know, I'm in a relationship now and I know it's going to work because we both got the same issue and, and we're going we're gonna to be able to fix each other. I screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and the solution. Yeah, you may think you're fixing each other. You may be hurting or even destroying each other in the long run because you may not have what it takes, the tools to be able to do that because your mind ain't aligned right and two unaligned minds ain't going to make it better. Yeah, go ahead. You got a plumbing issue in your house, you got some leaks in your house, go ahead, you know you're not a plumber, go ahead and try to fix that thing yourself. Go ahead, with everything you think you know, you probably gonna make that thing a whole lot worse because a screwed up mindset, in this case about plumbing and the ability to fix leaks, you know, a screwed up mindset can be both the problem and the solution. You can go get 10 of your best friends who are all smart, but that none of them are plumbers and guess what? All 10 of y'all gonna make it worse because a screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and the solution. You gotta go get somebody who gets it, who understands it, who is a maybe a professional in that area and make sure that professional ain't janky, got a real license and all that because a screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and a solution. If you got issues and you know you have life issues, you got some things that uh, are going wrong, you maybe need therapy. Yeah, you may need somebody to enter your life that, you know, understands and, and, and can deal with those things. And even make sure your therapist and the person that enters your life ain't screwed up in the head. Because they could be a PhD and still be screwed up and a screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and the solution. But this is a big one. Somebody does come around you or enter your life or um, God sends you somebody, you maybe even praying for it and God sends you just the right person, right? And they don't have a screwed up mind. Uh -uh. But in your mind, they become the problem because your mind may be so screwed up, you cannot even identify the problem when you see it. Ever been there? Know anybody who is there? Have you ever tried to help somebody who was totally messed up and they could not see that you were the answer? You got to make sure that you don't just stay where you are and around people who are in the same state because chances are you are all going to be codependents one to another and a screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and the solution. You can self-correct, but the same mindset is not going to self-correct. The same mindset is going to stay the same. You're going to think you self-corrected because a, a screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and the solution. So what you want to do is you want to know, first of all, identify the first step in really getting better with anything is to identify there is a problem. And if you know you have a problem, you are probably not going to be able to fix your own problem in that same mindset. Can you fix the problem ultimately? Yes, but a transformed mind can fix the problem ultimately. That same mind will not fix it. I don't care how much you think you're going. I don't care how much you pray about it. If the mindset don't change, you going to stay the same or get worse. And you may fool yourself into believing that, you know, some people around you or people that you're bringing into your life is helping you fix it. Uh-uh. 
Because if that screwed up mindset is making those decisions, then that screwed up mindset is going to make bad decisions because a screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and the solution. You look at your kids. And you see your kids, you know good and well, they don't know how to do certain things. They don't have the maturity to do certain things. You look at them, they think they smart and know everything, whatever. And you looking at them, you're like, when is this knucklehead going to figure out that you need more experience to be able to do this? You know what I'm saying? They don't get it. Some adults don't get it. That's right. Because a screwed up, non-prepared, ill-prepared mindset cannot be both the problem and solution. So as a parent, you, or as an uncle or as an auntie, you have to step in with somebody who doesn't know your family member, young family member, whatever, and you have to assist them with what they don't know because their lack of knowledge or their screwed mentality keeps them from seeing things as clear as they need to see it. Because a screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and solution. I'm encouraging you today to know that you were made right, you were made perfect, and you are enough. But if somewhere along the line, your mindset got screwed because of relationships, maybe you got hurt real bad, rejected real bad, whatever it is, you are off the course to fix yourself unless you get a transformed mind. And that's not impossible. It is possible. But chances are it's not going to happen just with you. It's going to take something or somebody from the outside who does not have a screwed up mindset who can see things clearer. It's, it's incredible to me that broke people that are broke, 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 and they broke think that they're smart enough to tell you what to do with your money. How can you be broke with a screwed up bank account and a screwed up understanding about how to do your money and then you're going to tell somebody else what to do with their money? And somebody is supposed to listen to you. A screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and the solution. Brokenness and you being broke or your friend being broke, their brokenness cannot be both the problem and a solution. No, they can't be your solution. They have no money. And if it's habitual that they don't know how to do, do what to do with their money, they are not going to be able to advise you in what to do with your money. A screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and solution. Now, I'm seeing this all the time in social media. Hey, you know, I, I'm in this great relationship. We both got this issue and together we're going to be able to fix each other. Ain't going to happen. A screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and the solution. All right, I want you to share this video with somebody. Um, listen, go incognito, whatever. Don't even, hey, just share it, man. Share it on your pages, right? So people can see it. Because a lot of people need to know this. Yeah, because a lot of people are trying to, what they call self-correct. And if it's a screwed up mindset trying to self-correct, you man, if Stevie Wonder, as brilliant as Stevie Wonder is with music, love Stevie Wonder. If Stevie Wonder gets behind the wheel of a car, it is no way He's not going to cause accidents because he can't see. His sight is screwed. He can't see. So if he get out there in the car, it's going to be many accidents. Does that mean he wants to cause an accident? No, but he can't see. You get the point. Share this video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you can be notified when we go live with content, conversation, and contest. By the way, we're giving away $3,000 before the month ends. So you want to make sure you subscribe and you want to click the bell. But share this on your pages, Facebook, um, Instagram. Share it well. Instagram it won't fit. But um, Facebook um, and other social media sites. Because people really need to know this. Self-correction is possible, but not in the same mindset. I think somebody get it. Go to com If you get what I'm saying, go to comments and say, I get it. Go to comments and say, I get it. If you get what I'm saying, go to com comments and say, I get it. I get it. All right. I appreciate you all. I really do. I appreciate you. And I appreciate you for letting me uh, throw up on you like this. But it was on my heart, my spirit to tell my listeners, my radio listeners, and those who connect with me, you know, something that may be a misnomer and you're being told this wrong. Yes, you are everything. You're more than enough. You have everything it takes, but not with the same mindset if it's screwed up. Because a screwed up mindset cannot be both the problem and the solution. A transformed mind can be the solution.
Have a good day.